one more review from Discmania. It's a big one. Got the cells, the tilt. It's a beauty. It's kind of lavender purple. Very simplistic one. There's some really wild ones out there, but this is a nice simple one. Um, this y'all already know. This is more just me throwing it for the first time. A lot of y'all know how this thing's gonna fly. I've never thrown one for real. I've, I've thrown one back to someone, but I've never actually really thrown one myself. So this will be interesting. The shape of them, every time I see one, it's like, it looks like a spaceship to me, like a UFO. Um, these actually have a little bit of, not dome, but a little elevated there. You would expect it to be perfectly flat, but it's a little elevated. Grip feels great. Everything feels great. Just nice flex. Oh, I didn't even know that. Look at that. <laughs> nice little burst on the bottom. This one is 174. I don't think it's going to matter. And also the flight numbers I really don't think are going to matter. We know it's going to be fast, but it's not going to go far. So, feel of it feels great. I think this is like Simon says, a more of a novelty. If you really want to watch a review, go listen to Simon, not me. Um, it's going to be more utility. Just, you know what it's going to do every time. So, about to get some throws in. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to see if I can get to that basket on the forehand. I have no clue. I'm going to try to throw it on this angle to start. Full rip. Oh my god. I did slip, but I don't think that was a factor. Well, to be fair, I think that was a little bit of a fluke. I slipped a little bit. I think that was everything that caused that bad throw. I'm gonna give it another go. Like I said, I think it was a slip. I don't think that, you know, I think I got the power for this thing. I'm gonna try it more like a forehand roller. See if I can get it down there. Goodness gracious. That was actually really good. But you can see I threw that. I guess that was like a tomahawk. But it immediately, you could. That is a controllable shot. I think there's not many shots you can control, but that would be one. Kind of throwing it like a baseball or a football to someone. That was good. First one, not so much. And I'm, it was a slip. All right, it's time for the back end. We're looking at about 228, maybe 229 for the pin. I'm gonna take full rip. I'm gonna try to use as much space as I can. I think if I throw it too high, it's gonna drop out. So I'm gonna try to keep it low and flat, almost like a backhand roller. And we'll see what happens. I'll probably be in those shrubs in about a minute. Oh my goodness. And it stopped, that one literally stopped like a grenade off a of back end. It was like the back spin stop of a grenade. I would never want to throw that in the round, but you can see how it could work. That was not very good. So Eagle says let's throw this upside down. We'll find out. I don't know if I'll get to this basket or not. I think you still need Anheuser, don't you think? I'd say so. Yeah, never mind. It flew like a really stable mid-range, actually pretty fast. So that is very true. I thought it was just like kind of his power that he could throw it upside down, but that flew like a what's a good stable, but not a meat hook. It was just solid, a stable mid-range. I'm gonna go forehand roller attempt. Um, that's like I think most shots here you just you say what you want to do the disc may not agree So I'm gonna attempt to go forehand roller Typically when I throw a forehand roller, I want to go like at least 40 or 50 feet out before I land This I think you're gonna have to stick with like 10 feet maybe before It flares out we'll See and then I don't think you need as much angle 
I think, I mean, as little angle. I think on the forehand roller with this, you gotta go almost vertical, which typically you wanna land most discs like that. But we'll see. Even upside down, but I'll just go vertical. That was a lot better than I thought, but still pathetic. I think if you kind of threw this on the Anheuser, or even just flat with a lot of power, you're going for the basket. If you got it up there, it's going to really push like no other disc. Then we'll give it a shot. It may be a failure. view on it it's useful for some things but I feel like you could almost get in more trouble using this disc than you would using something else but I think this is a disc you have to know how it's gonna fly you can't just go and bag it and I think someone just ate yes he did it's short but that's nice um, so yeah you have to know how it's gonna fly especially like say you're playing competitively and you try to pull some pull this out I think you're gonna get in more trouble than, than it's worth but it's fun to use, it's a good novelty kind of thing. And Simon says this is the last run, so collectors have gobbled these up. And So it's either going to be a really good mantelpiece, get signed. If you know what you're doing with it, I'd say bag it, keep it. But at the end of the day, what I think it is. A great putter. So do you need a putter? Go tilt. Once again, beautiful disc, but like I said, it's got a lot of uses, but I think you could get in more trouble than you realize. Not for everyone, is all I'd say. So, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I was happy to finally throw this, and I will keep throwing it. It just will not be in the bag, for sure. 100%. One more for the fans. Give a... Now I might bag it. That was better than I thought.